Hi Aquarius and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. This is a general reading for you all for July 2022 or whenever you come across this reading as these readings are timeless. I will try my best to bring love readings in as well later on this month but please bear with me as I have quite a lot of other work on at the moment. Quite important work in fact that's top secret. I'm not allowed to tell anyone about it. So I'll leave you all wondering about what that is. <laughs> um, back to your reading, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's start with some oracle cards. Might bring us some messages. Okay, that one. So we've got, first of all, strength of vulnerability. It says the power lies at the root of a perceived weakness. Indeed, um, sometimes we need to be vulnerable in order to find the strength to move on. It's interesting, you also got moving forward. It says the first step is taken within our stillness. So a strong message here for some of you in terms of being a bit vulnerable. You may feel it's a weakness. Like if you're walking away from something, for example, because she's got her back to us. But we all come to a point in our life when we have to close out chapters and move forward. You've got the sun there in the, in the future showing a positive outcome. We've also got the shadow of like an eagle, I think it would be. Um, it's like spirit guiding you forward on your path. A lot of orange, so I'm getting um, solar plexus, finding the motivation to do this. Yeah, I'm getting a bit of fear coming through from some of you. Bottom of, bottom of the deck, it says enough, you were born enough. So I'm really getting doubt strongly coming through here. Like you, you feel that you can't do this. Maybe it's about taking a step forward in your career and you don't feel good enough. Being a bit vulnerable, you know, putting yourself out there. Maybe it's moving on from a relationship and you're scared of letting go and moving on alone. But, you know, again, it's about putting yourself first, realising you're enough on your own. See how she's on her own there. You don't need someone else there with you. If you're both standing strong together, then, yeah, sure, that's a strong relationship. Um, but maybe you've been in a situation where you didn't feel you were enough. You felt vulnerable, um, tied. I'm getting this image of someone tied, like they can't move. It's a struggle. Tied to a situation. So as I said, whatever that may be, um, something karmic, I feel. Let's see what comes through with the tarot. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Both these cards are showing you holding back. 
um, being a bit defensive with others. So yeah, not wanting to be vulnerable as we had before. Not being entirely honest um, with yourself, with people around you. And this card is just like this moving forward. It's the same thing, moving on from anything that doesn't serve you. I feel some of you have really been through a lot of burdens. Heavy energy that you're holding on to. As I said, that's what I was feeling. You're tied to something. Um, a lot of pentacles have come out, so it could be your workplace. So it's really coming through here. You, you work hard. I do feel that. Um, but again, what I feel here, what, what I'm seeing, rather, is if you can move forward, you've got this abundant future ahead, as I said, with the sun there. Ten of Pentacles is long-term commitment, happiness. You being very abundant, maybe a new job, or working for yourself, and you build a legacy. That's what I'm getting here. Now, for some of you, this is also with another person. There's another energy coming out here. Some are very committed, loyal. So you work together. You build something together from scratch, they're telling me. Um, we've got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Let's get some more on the King of Pentacles. Could be someone you meet through work as well, if you don't know this person already. Wow. Okay, that's amazing. Remember I said about you being chained to someone? See, I can always channel without cards. Um, the message usually comes out later, the cards. So, as you can see, yeah, there's someone you're chained to. And here we're seeing freedom, healing, happy outcome. So I'm really sensing you're moving away, you're, you're unchaining yourself, which you can always do. You can always remove that chain. And moving towards the sun that we got there. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, this is also like the light and dark. So your shadow side and your higher vibration, higher self, let's say. It's a bit of a battle there in terms of making this decision. Um, I'm also feeling that this person is someone that some of you know. You're very, it's a soul tie. You're very tied to this person. We've got Capricorn Leo. Let's get some more on that person. Could have been some codependency with that person, some cheating, or they just weren't honest with you in terms of how they felt. Wow. Aquarius, okay, I just got shivers there. Um, you've got such positive cards. Ace of Pentacles. So again, here's the abundance coming your way. Could be slow moving energy. We've got um, earth energy again. But then you've got the Ten of Cups, ultimate happiness together. Happy ending. And here's you, though, because it's their energy as the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords has her sword up ready. She or he wants the truth. So if you know this person, that's the energy you're going to be in, I feel. But I'm just feeling this person, with these two, is very committed and loyal. Okay, now for others of you, 
in work, again, you know, you've got this potential for an increase in finances, a new job for some of you, promotion. Um, and again, as I said, some of you may find you meet this person at this workplace. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, let's just get another one on the Queen of Swords there. It's not a good card to end on, <laughs> I don't think. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, though, so they could have air in their chart. Yeah, so a bit of confusion for some of you um, when this happens. It might be that there's too much going on for some of you. And you need to find your balance and moderation. Align. See, this is amazing. We've got the sun there, again, in the background. If you can align and heal, you've got this beautiful gift coming in. All this yellow. Just bring them all together. I mean, this is so positive. For some of you, this could be over the summer, wherever you are in the world. Uh, we've got Sagittarius there, so a lot of fire. Yeah, and some of you have been trying to manifest this change I feel trying to visualize it I really feel some of you are thinking about moving maybe even moving abroad quite a big step that's that could be why you're a bit tentative there okay so let's finish with some um, Oracle of the Unicorns We've got friendship. Seek out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socialising. Okay, so again, that could be where you're being guided to be vulnerable, putting yourself out there a little bit more, meeting new people, um, just getting out there, doing something a bit different. And that's where things happen for you and align. Live in the moment, yeah, awareness. Live in the moment. Be conscious of your thoughts. Look for signs and guidance. Wow. Yeah, so be in the here and now, which has come out here. Ground yourself. Stay centred. Conscious of your thoughts. That's like this darker light that came out. Try and keep your vibration high. And look for signs. See, I feel some of you, you're being guided to go somewhere in particular. Because um, we've got, as I said, we've got spirit there guiding you on your path. Whether it's going away somewhere, just going somewhere new to socialise, or a new job. And as I said, that's where I feel some of you meet this person. Could be a dance venue, somewhere where you just go to let it all out. Wow, it says manifest your dreams through dance. So yeah, express yourself. It's coming through as well. Okay, Aquarius, let's finish with a charm. Wow, we got a horse. <laughs> we had a horse here. Um, we've also got the knight, obviously, on a horse. So a lot of horses. Obviously the unicorn there as well. I mean, I know this is a unicorn, but I'm seeing that one as a horse <laughs> in particular. Um, you might love horses. This horse is on one leg. So this is about you, again, taking that step forward on your path, finding the strength. You can do this, Aquarius. 
Um, someone also taking a step towards you, but it may take a while. With the Knight of Pentacles, slow moving energy. You've got the jigsaw piece. It's like things are just going to fall into place for you. It's really what I'm hearing here. If you just take that step forward, be a bit vulnerable into this new area that you're moving into, you will be gifted in all areas. You know, we've got finances and love here coming out. And, you know, a very positive card there with the sun. Wow, okay, so this could be over the summer for some of you, depends where you're in the world, moving forward as well after that time. So I really hope you've enjoyed this reading and that it's resonated, Aquarius. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. Sending peace, love and light to you all.